Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're going to continue our Final Fantasy 13 journey today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to hop right back into it, so I hope you like it. Let's get to it. Alright. These guys respawned. Got him. See, Fang and Lightning together, whoop ass. Make sure, yeah. Good job, Lightning. All right, does not look like there's anything right here. Go ahead and get some of that. Who's over here? Man, I want a pull arm like freaking Fang has. Very uh, Dynasty Warriors uh, Chinese style. Honestly, I want Guan Yu's weapon. Oh, it looks like we're about to go into a. Uh... No, nah, we're not going to save just yet. We are going to use one of those. No big doggy. He ain't going nowhere. Why'd you save me? I was asked to keep you safe. By lightning. And by Nora. I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. I put her in danger. I know that. Let me make things right. You told me before that you couldn't. And that words were useless and a lot of other things I shouldn't have said. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to set things straight. So I didn't. I thought if I couldn't make up for it, then all the apologies in the world wouldn't mean a thing. So I decided I had to find a way to pay for it first. 
before I'd even have the right to say sorry. But, it's like you said, I was using that as an excuse so I could run from my own guilt. And that <clears throat> hit home. <clears throat> Look, Hope. I know what happened was my fault. I don't deny it, and I am sorry. Here. That's lights, isn't it? I... Why'd you... That knife was a present from Sarah. To keep her safe. She trusted you with something that important? should be the one to carry it. I'll find a way to make things better. Just give me time. If nothing I do is good enough, then I'll take any punishment you want to dish out. She's gone, Snow. You can take the blame, but... but it won't bring her back. I'm sorry. I, I knew it all along. I knew it, but... I had to blame someone. I had to. I needed a reason to, to keep on fighting. It wasn't someone's fault. It was mine. Take it out on me. And keep yourself alive until you do. Good to see. Just let me catch my breath. So you're weak to thunder. Weak to lightning, everything else is normal, 250 stagger, and you can cause death. Oh yeah, it's because I'm using Fang as the primary. Are we need to keep Big Boy here up in the air. Sixty-nine-six. Chill talisman. Nora didn't work out. Oh, my. You'll be okay. I'll keep you safe. Lightning. I... Me too. I mean, at least I'll try. I'll try to watch out for you two. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. 
Don't forget about this one. <laughs> that one will be all right. He's too stubborn to die. <laughs> Knowing you'll always be welcome, no matter how much has changed. That's what having a home is all about. All right, so we are Ollie Fang. You have two more things there. One more thing there. Did I miss an ability? I did. Go ahead and collect this Phoenix down. Rest up, then we'll leave. If they find out you're sheltering with C, they'll. Ah, you're my son. This is your home. Hey -o. Hey, this house looks huge. Alright, so that's where you two are at. Don't want to run to lightning just yet. A pretty weird shaped house. Seeing the apartment's master control terminal, it is elegant and modern design it looks expensive. Is there anything in the shops? No. Still just Fang. Here's the esteemed family portrait containing the smile and the face of Hope's father. The Hope himself seems to be in a solemn mood. Alright, 
Alright, I'm not wanting to look at that one. Handful of academic texts and homemakers' magazines occupy Azurae sparse shelves. None of Hope's possessions are to be seen. Two figures visible in the photo appear to be Hope and his mother. Hope's father must have been a distance when he took the picture. Double checking if there is nothing else. Also, the house is super barren. Can't walk any closer to that. Let's just activate. Now for an update on the situation in Palampolum. The Lassi continue their desperate flight, and the military has now launched an all-out campaign to eliminate them. In the event you must leave your home, please follow the instructions broadcast on this channel. Must be the kid's family. Roughly 2,500 civilians believed to have come in contact with the Lassi are now being held in quarantine by the Sanctum. Our latest Instapol has shown a vast majority in favor of the immediate purging of these individuals, hey. believing their treatment... Lay down. All right. Uh, see, you took the kid's toy away. Uh, he gave it back to me. Said he didn't need it anymore. <laughs> Go figure. It was too much. Hmm? What happened to Sarah? All I could think about was what could I have done? I hated myself for not trusting her. It hurt too much. I couldn't face it. Look, Snow. I... I'm sorry. Forgive me. For what? Everything. If you told me your real name, I suppose I could. <laughs> Have Sarah tell you, when she comes back. Deal. My dad said he'd like to see you guys. He wants to talk. The blame is mine. I couldn't save her. <sighs> if it wasn't for Snow, I wouldn't be here right now. Snow? Did Nora... Did she say anything to you? Hope. She said to... to get him home. And that's exactly what you've done. Huh? Phew. Huh. Face to face like this, it's hard to believe you're all dangerous fugitives. But the entire world is scared to death of you, Lassie. No, not even just you. People who've helped you, bumped into you. Sometimes it's even just people who've walked by one of you. They think they're tainted and want every one of them purged. The Sanctum's a puppet of the foul sea. To them, our lives don't mean anything at all. Mm. We'll stop this. Take down the Sanctum and save Cocoon. You've thought that through? 
the sea take down the sanctum. Fear of pulse will only get worse. It won't stop at fear. People will take up arms and stand against you. Can you imagine it? The rampant violence. When the government's control is gone, the citizens will revolt. So what then? We're supposed to just smile and eat a bullet? That means you too. Huh. I know I'm part of this. I'm on your side of the fence. Harbor of the sea and a public enemy. Coming here was a bad idea. Hmm. This is your home. We're all here. Let's figure this out together. Huh? 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 Heads up! No! <laughs> In the back! You're not ready for this. I'll stay here. No, help my dad. Come on. There we go. And we have control of lightning once again. That is what we were hoping for. ourselves in here they're not gonna just give up and go away bombardier See, now we can start collecting crap. Use some of that crystal. Right before. And let's get old hope taken care of. Right beforehand. Go. Make sure we have, yeah. Have the other side respawned. Brawler's wristband. That's exactly what we needed.
There we go. And just because you're right here in the way. Cleared out. Offensive. That's exactly the one I wanted. We want that as the active one. Did get that one. Is it over? Are they? They're fine. Your son's a tough kid. Italian. He'll take out the whole building next. Dad! Oh! Thank goodness. Are you hurt? No. How about you? Still in one piece. Some kind of monster? I'm flesh and blood like you, an ordinary citizen of Cocoon. Don't you get it? This has been our home our whole lives. How could we even think about destroying it? We want to protect this place just as much as you. He's on our side. He's lying. What if he's telling you it's a trick? You must be Snow Villiers. Yag Rosh, Psychom Division. I understand your plight. However, the Pulse threat is not so easily dismissed. The very existence of Ulysses puts every last one of us in danger. Tell me, do you really think your life is worth more than the lives of millions of Cocoon citizens? I do not. And so, it falls to me to order your execution. It's that simple. It is my responsibility to see you put down. Your lives are forfeit. Oh, cut the crap! You want the sea? Then kill the sea! Why do other people have to die? The purge has got to stop! Do you think we want to purge our own people? If any trace of Pulse remains, the populace will erupt into chaos! 
without sacrifice, without the purge, Cocoon will die. I gave no order! your dad we threatened you and forced you to help us got it there must be something do else. what she says <clears throat> hmm. I can't let you get dragged into this I want to stay here but there's no place for Alyssa I'm going with the others we'll survive somehow I promise you that. Dad, I hate to run out on you. You're not running! This is not running away. You've made a choice. You'll survive and do what needs to be done. You mean... complete my focus? Don't you worry about that. You make the choice. <sighs> Thanks, Dad. Turn, hero. What? I can handle a little gas. Catch your breath. I'll throw in some hits for you. There we go. The sky tank. Time to summon Odin. My boy. Ah, oh, kill it before I could use any of the moves. Uranite and pulses workshop. Don't get cute. Right, let's move it. <laughs> Take it. 
take care of that. When it comes to home and family, we never keep either as close as we should. Whoever stops to think that this time could be the last. Oops, got some daddy issues. I guess we all do. Nautilus, the city of dreams. Seasick? No, I'm fine. Okay then. They haven't had a chance to play a sash or vanilla in a hot minute. Alright. Can't go back that way. Is, there's not an item back there. No, there's not. Let's see, you both got a lot of crystal. So I'm mainly using you as a commando right now. I'm going to work on your commando. So that goes there. Scourge, jeopardize. Another roll level. Ah, you've got a lot to go. Alright. We want to get you to your accessory. I got Dispel. And then, once we got your accessory, we are going to work on Ravager, because that's what we play with you mainly as. Alright. That gives a stagger. That increases our strength. Go ahead and give you the power. Because you improved the buffing. Strength of 50, nah. Protect. E shell. We have you kind of doing more magic right now. I think that will work out the best for our current situation. Looks like there's a crowd of people. We're gonna go this way. Hello and welcome to Nautilus. Enjoy your stay in Nautilus, the entertainment capital of Cocoon. Let's go over. Hope we don't get separated. Stick with me.
The bathroom is wherever you want to make potty. Security. Yeah, for these people, the Lucy panic must still seem like a world away. Huh. Huh? Oh, hey. Looks like they're putting Idolins on parade. Starting soon. What do you say? Let's go check it out. Stop! Looks like the army finally found him. Hostages? They should just blow them away with the Lassie. They're all infected by Pulse or something by now anyway. The parade's about to start. Come on, let's go. Hey -o. On the double check, run around, and make sure nothing's floating. I mean, I know we all do float down here, but just in case. Nothing new popped up. To parade, a pageant commemorating the war between Cocoon and Pulse. The show is starting. Look. comes the attack from Pulse. With 
Mossy Blade and Falsy's aid, I will defend Cocoon! To battle! You dare oppose me! I will fulfill my focus! Sometimes I had to wonder, mm -hmm. could our deaths have brought back peace? Where to next, little lady? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you decide. Hmm. Just keep on smiling. I know. A Nautilus Park Day. With Sags. Yeah, but should we really be playing around? Forget about that heavy stuff for a while. And maybe this will just fade away. Okay. Great. Let's roll. Yes, it is. I think it's funny how Sass is so airheaded that he does not realize that she is from Pulse. That she's caused a bunch of this, and that constantly showing her how evil Pulse is is not making her happy. Two sides of the same coin. What's in Nautilus Park anyway? It's a huge amusement park built by the Sanctum. Bet they never expected to see visitors. So, is this place... Special? I promised Dodge. He's gonna bring him someday. Hope I can at least tell him about it. You get the chance? Maybe. I do know where they're keeping him. Can I come with you? <laughs> sure. More the merrier. What about you? You got someone special out there? Special? <laughs> really? Now that is kind of sad. Yeah. Hey, I'm kidding. I didn't mean to uh, upset you. Well, I'm just fine, thank you. I wanted to tell him everything, but I couldn't. Not until the time was right. All right, we're actually going to call it an episode there. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, we're going to see what we get into in the next episode. I think it's kind of crazy how airheaded Sass has been, not realizing how different Vanilla is from anyone on Cocoon. And I think it's kind of screwed up that she doesn't want to even mention her Vanel's girlfriend thing. But we'll figure out what's going to happen on the next episode. I hope you enjoy. Peace.
and I'll see you later.